What's up you guys back again another pack opening today. We're doing a pretty cool pack of pack opening We're gonna do a power cube and one of these monster boxes And we're gonna see what we can pull uh, Both of these are pretty controversial. Some people like them. Some people don't uh, I don't really mind them. The power cubes seem a little bit worse. I will admit um, They definitely seem worse than the monster boxes but you know we'll, we'll see we'll see which one's better uh we'll find out if you guys haven't make sure you subscribe enter those giveaways that i got going on well the giveaway that i got going on oh my gosh uh as of right now i believe we're at 87 subscribers and at 90 we're giving away this target genesis impact like sealed product thingy uh to one of you guys and then i'm still thinking about what i want to do for 95 subscribers and for a hundred but i have some ideas in my head on what i'm going to do but for now we're focused on 90 subscribers so let's see what we got here so we got a speed dual pack pretty awful uh, <laughs> we got Judgment of Light. That's not bad, first edition. Oh man, we got cards. And a Pharaoh Servant. Nice. So, well, what's, what, what is, what is this? We had two cards on the side, Red Eyes Burn and Aquarium Set. Nice. Well, not very nice. We'll put the packs over there the rest of these cards out throw this down here and we'll get right into this uh, on the back here we had Longis L Longersu the orchest orchestrator nice don't know what that's from Mistrick Holder we'll put that back there pretty cool uh soul Fu oh soul fusion duh derp oh okay. yeah then we got an ultra rare here, amphibious swarm ship, ambo whale. Wow, I have never seen that. That's interesting. D A N E. Wonder what that is. Metal foes mithrilium from MP17. Pretty cool. Megaton. Uh, what well, is that? Megaton. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's a little bit beat up but that's okay waterfall of dragon souls from maximum crisis i believe first edition again not too bad all right and then we got a bunch of commons here i'll go through these pretty quick uh, unless i see something that really sticks out melfi fanny i love the melfi cards i just think they're cute Looking like we, the pair, I still think it's hilarious. They made a bike into a monster. So, pretty cool. Uh, a lot of different commons. I think, like, the cubes are usually pretty overpriced. I'm not gonna lie for what they are. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, though. We'll, we'll see. Like, obviously, if any of those are worth anything, it'll pop up on screen. But so far not seeming too great but again it depends on what kind of Yu-Gi-Oh player you are uh, let's see what the speed duel is maybe we'll pull a secret rare who knows uh, Jirak Spinos Garochin yeah tail swipe ooh and we got Dawn Zalug as an ultra rare don't know if you're supposed to get an ultra rare, but that's pretty cool. At least he pulled something. <laughs> hey, I'll take that. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. Yeah, Judgment of Light. Not open too many of these. Oh, yeah. I definitely have not opened too many of these. 
any of the ones that kind of have to open from the top, that's how I know if I've opened them or not. Because most of the packs that I... Maybe, if I can... Try not to destroy the pack, you know. But we're gonna have to just rip it open. Set that over there. Alright, we got Vertical Landing. Star Seraph Scout. Intercept Tomato. That is pretty funny. I've never seen that card before. Uh, Bujinji Ophidian. DZW Chimera Plaid. And we got Mecha Phantom Beast. Fishborg. Fencing Fire Ferret and Ice Princess Zeriort. So it doesn't seem like we pulled anything good. We got a rare, but didn't pull anything crazy. So out of our Pharaoh's Servant, let's see what we can pull. Usually I would save these for last, but we have a Monster Box too. So. Oh, let's do the trick. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm not feeling it, but I've been caught off guard before. So, Dark Fire, Harpy's Brother, Seven Completed, Gamble, Solomon's Law Book, Skull Mariner, Solemn Wishes, Nobleman of Extermination. Pretty cool, rare. I don't pull him too often. And Infinite dismissal so overall the cube seems like it's not holding up too well right now but we did get a few cards here so we got two rares let's see yeah we got two rares two three ultra rares pretty nice and three super rares so I guess it's not horrible, but now it's time for the monster box. So let me go ahead and get this open off camera because it's complicated. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, like for real, I'm interested to know. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the monster boxes or do you prefer the cube? Or do you prefer... Uh, do you per prefer, oh my gosh, neither. Like, do you just, would you rather just buy sealed product? So we got Maximum Crisis. We got Dark Saviors. Ooh, nice. We got Spell Ruler. Uh, another Maximum Crisis. this oh my gosh I'm just smacking the camera a lot today I'm just gonna grab the rest out because this is getting complicated so we got shining victories fusion enforcers duelist alliance breakers of shadow uh, flame Destruction and Cybernetic Horizon. We're going to start with those because obviously we saved the spell roll for last. But I usually have bad luck with them. But also I don't think there's a ton of great stuff in the sets like, you know, money wise. But there are some cool cards in it. Cold by the Grave, pretty cool one off rip. Ooh, we got Element Saber Nalu, a uh, super rare. Don't know if super rares are guaranteed, but hey. Trickster Delfendium, Staring Contest, Altergeist, Element Saber, and Trickster Bloom. Nice, 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 nice. So I'm actually going to try and keep these piles separate here. That way I know what I've pulled. So up next is Cybernetic 
Horizon, which I, my brother has pulled something good out of here before. It's like the chase card uh, out of this set, but I don't know if I'll get that lucky. Universal, zero extra link. Crusadia Vanguard. Goki, Goki uh, Ring Trainer. And Sky Striker Ace Hayata. I think I said that right. I don't know. Super rare. The Deep Grave as a rare. Nice. Mythical Institution. Oh gosh. Goki and Crusadia Reclusia. I enjoy opening these like monster boxes and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and do a Maximum Crisis next. I just like them because you get a variety of packs without, you know, having to go buy them all each individually. You just kind of get them bundled up. Perform a pal. But I get that some people don't like it because, you know, you never know. <laughs> Ooh, we got Zep Zephroth. That sounds like Setheroth, but maybe that's just me. Uh, pretty cool. Super rare. Magician's Restage. Re Restage? These are rare. Liverlusk. Uh, Tur Turquoise. What? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Dino Mist. <laughs> Phantom Knights. Sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and do Breakers of the Shadow. So these aren't first edition. Obviously. But. Still pretty cool nonetheless. Deskbot 007. Super Heavy Samurai. Performance Hurricane. Dino Mist Brachion. We got a super rare Magis Spectre Toad. Ojama? Ogama? Ogama? <laughs> That's actually a really good looking card. Wow. Performer Pow. Get turtle. Yes. I love it. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh my gosh. Can't say that name. Uh, score the Melodious. M Melodious. Follow wing. Oh, follow wing. I, I get it. I get it. Let's go ahead and do Duelist Alliance. I actually just watched a video of someone else opening an entire box of like first edition Duelist Alliance. That was pretty cool. He didn't pull anything, but still pretty cool. Spicy pie? <laughs> yeah, spicy pie. Yeah, that's exactly what that was. Stellar Nova. Battle Guard King. And Stellar Knight Altair. That's a very cool looking card art. I almost thought it was a foil at first because of the little sparkles in there. Perform a pow hip, hippo. Him of light. Battle guard howling. And UA stadium. So far, I don't know how we're doing, but it doesn't seem like we're doing great. Maybe it's just me. Do another maximum crisis. These things are hit or miss. Sometimes you'll get a great one. Sometimes you'll get a terrible one. Phantasm. But I will, I'll take that hit for your guys' entertainment. <laughs> Primal Cry. Ooh, we got Subterror Fiendus. Pretty sure I have pulled her before. So, don't think she's worth much. Magician's Restage again. Nice, got two of those. Kaiser Sea Snake. Mild Turkey. Dino Mist Howling. Sweet. Got a pile of commons over here. Let's go ahead. We'll save Shining for last. Go ahead and do Dark Saviors. Okay, I can never remember if the Secret Rare is up front or not, so we'll find out, I guess. Okay. Okay. Tune table of contents. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that's still worth like a dollar or something. Something like that. Shadow Vampire. 
Helmer Helmsman for hire. Sky Striker Mecha. And we got Sky Striker Maneuver Jamming Waves as our secret rare. I've actually never pulled that card. So that's a pretty cool pull. Not sure if it's worth anything. Usually I would sleeve it up. I don't have any sleeves right this moment. But we'll, we'll set it back there. It'll be okay. I promise. <laughs> we'll do Fusion Enforcers next. So that means Fusion is the one where the secret is on top. So we'll go ahead and throw that in the back. I never pull anything good out of Fusion. So Fusion Conscription. Fusion Gate. That's pretty decent. Predator Plant. Sarah, yeah. Lone Fire Blossom. Again, a pretty decent card, actually. And Omega Summon as our secret rare. God, I love secret rares so much. I love them so much. I don't know why they are my favorite rarity out of everything. Well, okay. Maybe tied with Ghost Rare. Maybe tied with Ghost Rare. So. Next, we got Shining Victories. Let's go ahead, see if we can pull any cool blue eyes stuff. I'm pretty sure you can get out of this. I don't know, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure. Fire King, Luna Light, Black Sheep, Gear, that, <laughs> Cuban. And we got Priestess with Eyes of Blue. That's actually, I'm pretty sure, a pretty good pull. Uh, she plays very well with a nice Blue Eyes deck. And then we got Amorphage and B. Nice. The Kaiju Files. Dwarf Star Dragon. And Digital Bug. Sweet. Not bad. So... Again, I prefer monster boxes, but this last pack is going to seal the deal. I'm pretty, I mean, no matter what, I will always rather buy a monster box over a cube. I think they're just more worth it in general. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, I don't think you're any more likely to pull anything, but think you just get a bigger variety. Minar, Minar, Chorus of Sanctuary, Eat Gaboon, <laughs> Gaia Power, Griggle, Horn of the Unicorn, and we got Stone Ogre Grotto. So nothing crazy crazy out of this opening. But overall, just cool. We got a lot of cool stuff. Got to see a lot of different things. Kind of compare the box to the, I don't know, cube. And as you can tell from the stack of rares and hollows compared to that of the cube, I would say I, I, I would go with the monster box, personally. I think that you get more bang for your buck and it's a little bit more expensive than the cube but I really think it's more worth it. So that's it for this video. Uh, again as of making this we're at 87 subscribers pretty close to 90. Maybe we'll hit 90 before this video. I don't know. If not make sure you subscribe into that giveaway and yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.